Hi, I'm Auntie Emily. I am auntie to Ollie and Amelia Carroll, um, who have been diagnosed with vitamin disease a few years now. I am sister to Lucy, Ollie and Amelia's mum, so I'm here to talk to you from an auntie, a sister, a sister-in-law perspective. Um, and something I want to speak to you about is about the feeling of guilt. When you get the diagnosis of Batten's disease, you as a family, you feel obviously a, a variety of things. And one of the feelings that I felt and has stuck with me since day one is that feeling of guilt. The guilt from the day of diagnosis when you don't know what to say or do or how to react. What can you do to make everything better? Are you doing enough? And still to this day, I wake up every single day and feel guilty because I don't know if I'm doing enough to help. I don't know if I'm saying the right things. I don't know if I should, you know, when you have a day and it's a day with your family and it's not fast and disease related, you know, you, you feel guilty about that. You feel guilty of all the things that you're doing and is it, you know, is it ever enough what you're doing for the family? And it's, you will have that feeling and it, and it doesn't go away ever. Um, so it's made me realise that Batten's disease affects the child so much and it affects every single person in the family and it's like a snowball effect then and yeah it doesn't just change the child's life on that day it changes everybody's lives and you realise that life is never going to be quite the same again and you just want to do every single thing possible you want to move mountains, but you know you can't. So, yeah, it's um really hard to uh, live with that, really. And then you feel guilty for feeling like that. And you feel guilty even to do this video and to talk about how my heart is literally from that day shattered into pieces. You feel guilty to even say that because I'm not a parent to a child with Parkinson's disease, so how can I say that I'm heartbroken and I'm grieving and I'm upset and angry and you know, it's you you feel like you can't even say it and experience it because you're not in the worst position. And you know, I so I think of my feelings and then I multiply them by a million and it's impossible to sometimes even breathe because that's you know how parents feel so that's why Batten's disease needs speaking about it needs talking about so much more these families need you they need people around them to help them and support them and you know we all have a job to do to raise this awareness of Batten's disease and we need you to join with us and Batten's disease awareness day and just tell one person about Batten's disease just tell one person a fact about Batten's disease and pass that along. Do what you can to support these families that need you. Thank you.